Hey guys, it's Geeky Artist again. Here's another game tutorial for you, and it's a very simple tutorial, kind of like the previous one I had made. So it's been a while since I made the video. I do apologize for that. But anyway, I just want to greet you everyone. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for 2011. And I assure you, more videos are definitely coming. So I do hope you continue the support, and I thank you so much. So let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so first off is you open a new file or a new image, like so, and then go to your layers window, uh, right click, um, go to new layer, and make sure you have a new transparent layer, so the layer fill type is transparency, so hit OK, so you have something like this. Then whatever it is that you want to write on your new layer here, you can do so. So I'm just going to go with uh, geeky. Like so. So this is a circle fuzzy um, brush type. Alright. Then we go to our layer. Go to transparency. Go to alpha to selection. And we have those dotted lines again. Then we go to filter go to alpha to logo then go to neon okay so you choose the background color I'll just well, go with black and the glow color would be green so if you're satisfied with your settings just hit OK and there we go so we have our own neon sign okay so there's another way to do this just go to file hit new and this time we're going to use the text tool so hit OK, same procedure, um, add a new layer, a transparent layer, like so, okay. Go to the text tool, type in whatever you want to type in, Kiki, and I'm just going to go with 200, okay, like so. Again, go to layer, go to transparency, go to alpha to selection, like so, then go to filters, alpha to logo, neon and let's make a different color how about blue okay hit okay and there we go so we have something like this so it's very easy to create your own neon sign all you need to do is um draw whatever you want or type whatever you want or even use brush you can also use brush if you want to so let me do that how about a different type of brush here okay um how about this one a heart okay let's just resize that again new layer transparent layer Okay, then whatever it is that you want to use, you can do so. So we have something like this. Well, it's good by itself, but hey, we want it to be neon. So go to layer, then go to transparency, then go to alpha to selection, like so. Go to filters, just repeat neon. And boom, we have something like that. So I think that looks pretty good. And well, let's change... How about a red one? I think red's going to be much appropriate for this, so let's choose red. And there you go, so you have something like that. So it's a simple way to create neon signs using GEMP. I do hope you learned something from that. Thank you so much for the support to everyone. Uh, more videos to come. Again, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Geeky Artist and uh, signing out. So thanks for watching this video. Have fun, guys. Enjoy.